What's up guys, hopefully you're having a solid day. And it's become a bit of a reoccurring theme slash meme on my Twitch and also here on my YouTube about making these videos. I think this is my third one that I've made in the space of a year. Um, there are reasons for it. There's been some roadblocks and some speed bumps, which honestly just aren't interesting to talk about at all. Just real life stuff, really, and commitments coming in. Certain players having to tap out because they got a new job and it kind of messed with their hours. Like Chev, for example, who used to be in the team, some of you may remember. And... I'm just a firm believer in if you're going to do something, you do it right. You do it thoroughly and you make sure you get the right people involved. And so that's why it's taken a while. But we don't jump into to just asking people to trial. In the past, we've done this and it's bit us in the ass when they've changed their personality now that they're in the team. They become more of rages. They've started rage quitting and blaming and, and all these shitty things and bad attributes. And so I want to make sure that we get the right people in. And that's going to take time, you know, so I'll say right off the bat. If you are going to trial for the team, don't expect to get in after one or two good trials. This could be something that takes weeks. For example, Evo, who was our third player that we picked up, Calvin and I trialed him a lot. And we knew from the first or second trial that we were very interested in picking him up because he, he ticked all the boxes for us. But we still kept trialing him because we wanted to make sure that he wouldn't change, that we'd see consistency, that we'd see commitment to the team. And so once we felt like that was the case, we offered him a place and surprise, surprise, he hasn't changed. He's still really solid. So that's why we take our time with trials. Now, in terms of how to apply and what we're looking for, we're looking for an AWP plus a support player. So right now, I'm entry fragger for the team. We got Evo, who is second entry slash rifle, and then Calvin, who is the in-game leader. So if you are one of those roles only, please don't bother applying because we have them filled out and we're not going to switch to accommodate you. We already have our core. We're looking to add players, not change players. If you do want to apply, there is going to be a link in the description box below to my Discord. Once you get on Discord, you have the CSGO Team Trials channel. Scroll to the top, please. There'll be a pinned message, which will get um, you will give you a lot of information. You'll see what we're looking for, but also what we're looking for from you, what you can expect from us. There'll be an application form there as well, which you'll need to fill in and then post in that channel. And then I'll get back to you with a date and a time that is convenient for you. And that's really as simple as it needs to be. It'll take you two to five minutes max to fill out the form. I'll get back to you. The only thing you need is face it to start off with, not even premium because we, we uh, queue with the, the five player stack on face it. Unfortunately, they changed it from premium. I still don't quite understand why that's a thing. To start off with, it'll just be comms in face it, just some pretty chill sort of scrims to get to know you a little bit better and obviously also to see your skill level and all these kinds of things. And then if we are getting into a position where we're going to take it a little bit more seriously with you, we'll invite you to a, a chat on Discord where the three of us will have a conversation with you, talk about any feedback, talk about anything that's on our mind and allow you to speak about whatever is on your mind or any feedback you have for us. So that's generally the basic way it's going to go. Um... In terms of giving you a brief glimpse of what we're looking for, to, to try and maybe weed out some of the players that aren't going to make the team. If So if, if you fall into any of these categories, please do not bother applying because you're going to waste your time, you're going to waste our time. First off, no rages. This is really important. I've been a firm believer of this throughout my entire time playing playing uh, games, from playing like competitively to a high level to where I am now. No rages. I get that you can get heated and frustrated. I sure as shit do. I genuinely believe even the most zen monk in the world would get angry at Counter-Strike after a while. Um, it happens. Understandable. You're human. But directing that frustration and anger and being heated at somebody else is never okay. It just isn't okay, especially in-game. If you have a problem with somebody else after after the game and you give it a chance to simmer down and calm down a little bit, then speak to them, message them, actually talk to that individual, but not during the game. It is not okay. It really isn't. And this is something that I am 100% strict on. If you rage at anybody, you're done. Like you're out the team, straight up. This isn't just my team either. I want to make that clear. It's not just me that decides who's in or out the team. This is a democracy. It sounds weird, but it is. The three of us in the team right now all get a say. So if one of us says that the player's not in, they're not in. You have to get the okay from all three of us. It's not, you know, two vote against one. If one person says no to that player for any reason at all, they're not in the team. And I can tell you right now, if you rage, I'll be saying no. 
And to be honest, I know that Evo and Calvin are of the same mindsets. So you'll be getting three no's. So raging, not okay. Secondly, in terms of location, a lot of people have asked me, can I apply if I'm from like the US or Australia or somewhere else? I'll leave that to you to decide because what's important to me is that you can consistently play to a decent level. If you're in America, especially if you're in Australia, you're gonna have a horrific ping. But if you're in America, you're looking at 100 to maybe 120 ping if you're on the East Coast. Um, even worse than that if you're on the West Coast to Europe. And that's where we're gonna be obviously playing because all three of us are from Europe right now. Calvin's Austrian, Evo and I are both from the United Kingdom. And so if you can consistently play on a high ping and you can feel solid and in the game and the other obviously big issue with that is time zone difference. If you don't mind playing early in the morning your time or late at night your time, depending on where you are, then cool. I have no problem with that personally. You can be American or wherever as long as you can be consistent. So I'll leave that with you. I'm not saying you cannot join the team if you're from X, Y, or Z nation. Um, but obviously, if you struggle to play on 100 plus ping, it might not be worth your while and it might not be very fun for you to, to play anyway. Plus, in the future, although we're not looking to go pro, we're not looking to you know, attend majors. Obviously, if we somehow did one day, that would be incredible. It would be a dream, a, a miracle. But if you are in the US or somewhere else and we want to attend like a BYOC event or a smaller LAN, that's going to be some pretty rough travel for you if you're overseas, like over the Atlantic or, you know, the other side of the world. So I'll leave that with you, really. Um, I'd say ideally someone from Europe, but I'm not going to say no to someone that's not from Europe. Also been asked, and I think this may be a troll, but on the off chance it's not, is this a male only team? No, it's not. Now, I'm pretty sure every single person that has applied till this point has been male. Um, but I'm not going to say no to someone because they're not male. I don't care what is or isn't between your legs. To me, that, that it, it just doesn't matter. As long as you are uh, a reliable person, a, a person we all get along with, skilled, and you play a role, you can listen to calls, you're not a rager, then you're welcome to trial. Um, I, I, I don't care what gender you are. It, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. It really doesn't. So it probably was a troll question, but in the off chance, it wasn't a troll question. Um, and I think that's about it, to be honest. It's It's been a long time forming this team, and there's been twists, there's been turns, the ups and the downs, and insert cliche here. It's all kind of happened. Uh, but I'm still as motivated and is driven to make this a thing as possible. I think it could be really great to stream our progress as a team. I think it'd be really cool to take a, a group of individual players and build something that's better than, than us on an individual level. And that's why your skill level is important. Obviously, if you're a complete potato, you're not gonna make it. But skill level isn't the most important thing. I feel like you can build up somebody's ability given enough time and direction and cohesion together as a team, what you can't do really in my experience, and I have a lot of it playing games, that's one of the perks of being older, I guess, is you have more wisdom and experience, or at least you should do. Um, if someone's a prick, it's very hard to change them from being a prick. If someone's not a great player, with enough, if, if they're committed and if they're open-minded enough to allow criticism, to allow feedback, and to really build themselves and better themselves, they can become a better player. So that's really what we're looking at here. You don't have to be simple. You don't have to be the greatest player in the world, but you have to be willing to work, improve, and click with us on a, on a personal personality kind of basis. That's what we're looking for here, and that's why it's taking a while, because it's very hard to find that mesh. But we're still looking, and we're still determined. Anyway, thank you for your time uh, watching this video. And I look forward to seeing a bunch of you on the battlefield in the trials. Best of luck, guys. Peace.